Hi, I'm Laura with Airstream of Scottsdale. In this video, I'm going to cover the ins and outs of energy and electrical usage while you're dry camping or in an RV park. In other words, what's going to make my Airstream work and when? I'd like to start by covering some of the basic terminology that we're going to be using. First up is shore power, and that means 110 volt, you're plugged into a campground, 110 volt AC, alternating current, it's all the same thing. Uh, next up is dry camping, and that's when you're camping not in an RV park that has electric, water, and sewer hookups. This means you're running off of 12 volt battery power, DC power, direct current, it's all the same thing. If you go to make reservations at an RV park, you're likely going to see 30 amp or 50 amp sites. Now, any Airstream that has the second air conditioner on it, that's going to be 50 amp because it requires more electricity. Any Airstream with a single air conditioner is going to be 30 amp. Now, if you find an RV park that has 30 amp service only and you have that second air conditioner, it's fine. Your Airstream is going to come with a cable that you can connect the 50 amp down to 30 amp, plug it into your power pedestal. It just means that you won't be able to use more than one air conditioner at a time. Your electrical systems for the Airstream are 12 volt battery power and 110 volt shore power. Now there's, for lack of a better term, a third energy source for the Airstream and that's your propane. There are a few appliances that work off of propane and that's going to be your water heater, your cooktop, your furnace, the oven, and um, sometimes the refrigerator. And that's where we get into dual source appliances. Um, so what I was talking about with the water heater before, it runs off of either 110 volt shore power or propane. Now if you're plugged into shore power you can actually turn both the propane and the electrical element on your water heater at the same time and that way you get a lot more hot water a lot faster. So if you have a bunch of people camping with you and you need to take showers back to back um, you want to turn both of those on. Now you can still use your water heater while you're dry camping you just uh, turn it on propane only and you're going to have less hot water per hour. There are Airstream models that have fridges that run off propane 110 volt or 12 volts battery power. That's what's called a three-way fridge. Most, however, are going to be two-way fridges and they run off of shore power or propane. Um, these fridges, while they're set to automatic, they're going to look for electricity first if you unplug from shore power or you lose power at the campground, it's going to automatically switch over to propane. So you're going to hear a couple of clicks, a whoosh, and you know your fridge just switched to propane. It is possible to tow with your fridge on propane. It's not necessarily recommended, and personally, in my stream, I just put my fridge onto battery power and I tow while the sun's out and my solar panels are recharging the battery. Now that's in an ideal world and that's not always possible. So you can also just turn your fridge off while you're towing and check on it. You know, if you pull off to the side of the road, you can turn it back on while you're getting lunch. A question I get all the time is, can I run the air conditioner off of solar? The short answer is no. The slightly long answer is no, not yet. The air conditioner runs off of 110 volt only, so if you're dry camping and you want to run the air conditioner, you're going to need to bring a generator with you. Your Airstream does not come with a generator, and just so you know, some campgrounds either don't allow generators or only allow them within uh, certain windows of time. The same energy restrictions are true of your microwave, your convection microwave. You can't run these while you're dry camping unless you have a generator going at the same time. Most Airstreams will either have a microwave or convection microwave or a propane oven. They all have a propane cooktop and if you're big into dry camping and you really like to bake stuff, I'd recommend looking for an Airstream with a propane oven in it. So you're probably asking, Laura, what can I use while I'm dry camping? Almost everything else is going to work. Your lights, your water pump, your ceiling fan, your monitor panels, the blower in your furnace, your radio and USB ports, they're all going to work along with the inverter. Dry camping is both possible and it's awesome. With the inverter you just have to be a little more careful about your energy usage, but the payoff is huge.
Your inverter allows you to take more creature comforts along with you on the road. It powers things like your TV, your DVD player, and all of the outlets marked inverter circuit. The inverter is taking DC power and turning it into AC power. And it can power up to a thousand watts in the models that have an inverter, so you really need to watch the heat producing appliances like a hair dryer, a toaster oven, a coffee maker, anything that is going to require more electricity than a thousand watts. Just leave it at home. You might need to think about switching over to a French press for your coffee maker, um, unless you bring a generator with you and run the generator while, say, you've got the hair dryer going. So your Airstream has an inverter, and it also has a converter. The converter isn't something you need to do anything with, uh, but it's nice to know what it does and why it's doing it, and you can use it to impress your friends at cocktail parties later. When your Airstream is plugged into shore power, it's getting 110 volts. But wait, I thought you said that the lights and the fans all work off 12 volts. They do. Enter the converter. It takes 110 volt AC power, turns it into 12 volt DC power using inductors and capacitors and this diagram. But more practically, it usually lives under the refrigerator, under the closet, under the bed, and it makes a whirring noise when you're plugged into shore power. Now we've covered a lot of ground, including 30 amp versus 50 amp, 110 volt versus 12 volt, three-way, two-way, single source appliances, inverters, converters, and questions like can I run my air conditioner off of solar and how do I build a converter from scratch. I hope this was helpful and as always, once you've picked out the Airstream you want, please buy it from us at Airstream of Scottsdale. <laughs>